Hi everybody, my name is Raul Casas and I'm a systems architect with the IP group at Cadence. Machine learning technology is being adopted at a rapid pace in a variety of applications and is moving from the servers on the cloud to edge devices. The power consumption budget for the cloud environment is virtually unlimited compared to the power consumption budget for embedded uh, systems. And uh, for, the, for this reason, the machine learning community is improving the efficiency of the hardware architectures for these systems and of the algorithms themselves. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the uh, method that we um, developed here at Cadence for the reduction of complexity of a convolutional neural network. So let's start by looking at this simple network for handwritten digit recognition. Uh, in goes a 28 pixel by 28 pixel uh, handwritten digit, number nine here. It goes through a series of convolutional layers with some uh, decimation layers and activations. And finally, you have a series of probabilities for each possible uh, digit. So in this case, a nine went in, and the highest probability is a number nine. That's the one we detect. So we want to reduce the computational complexity of this network. And the first thing we need to do is to uh, uh, measure what that complexity is. So most of the complexity is going to be in these convolutional layers. And the complexity, the number of multiply accumulates required uh, in each layer is the number of output pixels coming out of here times the uh, work done per pixel which is, in this case, uh, the, the dimension, so 5 by 5, by the number of input channels, for this case be M1, times the number of output channels, M2, plus the work for the bias term, which is just M2. Okay, So that is the total number of multiply accumulates uh, for this little block. The way we're going to do the optimization, uh, sorry, the way we're going to do the uh, reduction in complexity is we're going to add the uh, complexity of all these blocks and find what is the right proportion of reduction in each one of them to achieve uh, reduction in complexity while maintaining the accuracy at the highest level possible. So what we do is using linear algebra, we're going to factor, uh, let's take this block for example, into two components. Here we have a 5 by 5 filter. The same inputs go in, same outputs go out. But now we introduced a new 1 by 1 convolution in here. And we have this intermediate uh, dimension, x2. And what, what we're going to do is, when we have x2 equal to m2, we have an equivalent uh, block to the original block. And it actually has a little bit more complexity than the original block because we've added this one by one convolution. But then we can tune down x2 all the way down to one, and even zero. Not zero in this case, because it, it created a zero right here in the middle of the network. But there are other networks that have parallel branches where we can actually eliminate a block completely. So our job is to play with this dimension x2, such that the complexity of this block, and when we do it to the other blocks, the other blocks as well, is reduced while maintaining a certain level of performance. So the first thing we do is create a function f of x, which is equal to the total number of multiply accumulates. Okay? And the second thing we do, and this is f of x, where x is a vector x1, x2, and x3 for each of these blocks. We're also then going to create a function of x as well, g of x, that gives you the accuracy of the network as you uh, change x1, x2, x3. So that allows us to create an optimization problem of minimizing the cost f of x over x 
such that the accuracy is above a certain threshold. And that's the optimization problem that we, uh, that we solve. We can actually solve it here visually uh, for this example. If we hold x3, if we don't optimize this block, we hold it constant, and we just worry about optimizing x1 and x2, then we can visually see what's, what's happening here. Here, f of x is the total number of multiplied accumulates, which is, in this case, a plane. And here we have an accuracy, which when x2 and x1 are at a max value, we have maximum accuracy. And as you reduce x2 and x1, we go all the way down to zero accuracy. So if we want to hold g of x greater than tau, we set this level here, tau, we create a plane that cuts through this accuracy function. And then if we project down everything that's above this level down to uh, the parameter space, we have an optimization region. Then we translate this optimization region to the cost and minimize this total cost. We'll find somewhere in here a value for x2 and x1 that are smaller, that create reduction in these two blocks, reduce the total cost of the uh, network, and maintain this level of performance. Then, with this new architecture, we can fine tune, we relearn the network parameters, and do this process many times to get reduction in a convolutional neural network. So, in our next uh, talk next week, we are going to go over our results when we do this for the handwritten digit uh, recognition problem and for two other interesting uh, benchmarks. So, thank you very much, and see you next week. Mm -hmm.